So here's what I did on the, uh, I ordered the Kurt, like the little flange. I cut this. I, I ordered the flange. Um, I'll list the part number, what it was. And for this, it had another piece that went up and over clamped to it. So I, I made my own. I bought the flange for the hole. And I cut it. And I, I cut this little edge here. The little lip you see hanging down because of the plastic lid, the lip hangs down. So that covers that. And then what I did, I had this piece of uh, two by three. It was off of a, a bench, a workout bench. I cut a piece of that and then I split it. And you can see I welded it, just tacked it around one on each side. Then I cut another piece and I split it and I welded it across the back. And I put that bend on it at the top. It works like a little spring age because this this stuff it's it's I don't know maybe 12 12 gauge it's it's pretty heavy um, nowhere near as heavy as the other stuff it's a little it's heavier than sheet metal but it's real it's real strong uh, it was on the bench to hold the weights the the that big bar so then what I did in that bend anyways I cut the a groove right here and what I'll do is I'll use the curt method to hose clamp this around. So let me show you. I left the bottom open and the top will be open. Also, I cut that plug off and my wires will come out the top of the plug instead of the back of the plug. So that made this, the whole plug, about an inch shorter. So let me show you how this fits on the car. Okay, so here's the hitch. Well, I think I'm going to go on the driver's side just because my harness is to the driver's side of center on the trailer. It doesn't really matter. Um, but see how that little curve is? So if I put this just up against the bottom and I push it up on there look it just like springs on there oh and another thing the reason I did this mainly with boxing off the sides is because it's going to be close to my chain if my chains ever flopping and swinging I'd rather it you know beat up against some metal than the plug itself I could come over a little further probably to there and I'll just, you can see that, I don't know if you can see up inside it, but that, that groove is right at the top of here. So I'll just put a hose clamp around there and tighten it down, probably from the back side so it's not so noticeable. But that looks pretty good. That's, that's how that'll work. And it's not seen from up here. It'll be down in there. I could go a little closer. I'm not sure. I got way more room on this side to put it anyway. I got that three inch center. So everything's maybe an inch and a half, two inches of center to the driver's side. So if I put it on the passenger side, my wires would just cross under the chains. But right there, it's pretty decent. And I, I don't know that my chains will actually hit this thing. I'm sure they won't under normal circumstances. So, I mean, I could put it right up against that, I guess. I guess I'd want to give it a little bit of room. Maybe no closer than middle. But yeah, that I can shove that on there and but that looks really good. It's steel. It's thin steel, but it's it's a strong steel. It welded good. I burned it right there, but it it flowed itself back together. Ugh. So yeah, I'll sandblast that. Throw some paint on it. Get some wires. I mean it's seems to be and there's that seven prong plug um, what I did was you can see remember it, it came out about another maybe three quarters of an inch about an inch where the wires came out the back I cut that off and then I cut this bottom off of a plastic bottle that I found that fit perfect on there and it's a confirming plastic so they should glue together really good see I just cut that off I cut it off and then I melted it I took a I took a knife and I melted it down. I heated it up and melted it and then um, trimmed enough of the edge off just enough so this will almost snap on there. So I'll glue that on there and then what I'll do is I'll have a hole in the top and my wires will come right out the top and I'll uh, put a loom around it, silicone it all. It'll be fine. But that made that quite a bit shorter so I could make that box quite a bit shorter. Because once that plug's in there, that plug's another maybe four inches long sticking out. But so far, so good. It's all working out 